Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about cleavage wedding relationship. Uh, cleavage wedding relationship is very important. Okay, while doing field, okay, if we get some exposure and on the basis of that, if we want to know in which side our fold, in which side our plunge, in which side uh, our antique line is there in the field with the help of cleavage wedding group we can easily you know interpret the uh, you know stu uh, structure and uh, in which direction we have to go okay to map our area okay and uh, question regarding the cleavage wedding relationship already asked in the you know net and uh, gate exam and uh, these are portions can uh, you know can be repeated again and again so uh, means uh, we have a you know good concept of cleavage wedding relationship okay so how it is helpful in the field i will also explain those things in the in this video okay and uh, hope you learned hope you will learn something from this video So, if we look at this 3D picture, uh, this is our fold and this is our actual, uh, first I will tell the basic, okay, what is cleavage and uh, what is actual plan, so that uh, the conditions that we are used, okay, the cases that arises in between the cleavage and wedding, so that we can understand from that, okay. Uh, this is actual plane of a fold, okay. And uh, these are the cleave, cleavage traces, okay. The cleavages are parallel to the, you know, cross, uh, actual plane, okay. And where they both intersect, these lines will represent the cleavage intersection lineation, okay. And this is the fold hinge, okay. Now, we are talking about the cleavage wedding relationship okay we are uh, means we are focused on this part okay in the cross section not on the plane view okay the fold is plunging in that case we are looking in that way okay suppose now here what is the relationship between this is the wedding what is the cleavage relationship with the wedding okay what kind of relationship it is on the basis of that and this side if you look at what kind of relationship of cleavage and wedding okay we'll you know understand that part of okay? it and there are some cases on the basis of that uh, there are six cases which uh, you know uh, for the cleavage wedding relationship okay one by one we will discuss those cases okay So, in case one to, in case one, cleavage is vertical, okay. Suppose this is our outcrow, in which cleavage is vertical. And actual plane of the fold is also vertical and uh, all beds are right side up so if we know if we have a basic idea of folding uh, if we have a basic idea of folding so if the actual plane is vertical so it means uh, it is a you know symmetrical fold So it is something like this. In the first I will construct in this way so that you can understand okay which word I'm going to talk about okay. In the remaining cases I will explain with this diagram only okay the outcrop only okay. So if we look at this part from that if we will go in the direction of the dip 
from in this uh, from this uh, cleavage wedding relationship in the direction of the dip of the bed we are getting syncline okay this side we get setting line we it meant to if we will to move toward our uh, you know uh, left we will get syncline and toward the right we will get anticline if this this kind of setup we will get this space also okay here also so in this case if we will move toward right we will get syncline okay and move toward left, left we will get anticline okay so in this way in the field we will interpret and we will know that either we will move toward right or left to find out the core of the you know anticline or syncline okay and uh, so, uh, so that we can understand the you know large scale features okay this is the first case okay now i'm going to talk about the second case okay if cleavage dip in the same direction as the bedding but more steeply beds are right side up okay suppose this is the dip of the cleavage okay i will curve in the end okay all the cases okay so that we can understand in what way okay much more better way after one by one okay explaining this and this is our bedding okay this is the case so in this case if we will move, move toward left and move toward right what we will get okay syncline is in the direction of bed dip okay it's mean it if we will move toward left we will get syncline and if we will move toward right we will get anticline okay how if i will construct this part something like this and it's something like this is actual plane it is matching with this and this is actual plane it is matching with this so moving toward right we are getting anticline now moving toward left we are getting syncline okay now i'm going to the third case okay now in our third case cleavage bedding dip in opposite direction okay this is important case in exam they will ask about this okay this is important okay if cleavage and bedding dipping in opposite direction and draw okay suppose this is our crop suppose this is our bedding okay and this is our cleavage both are dipping in opposite direction na? if we are getting this kind of setup in the field okay and beds are right side up okay the synclinal axis in the direction in which bed dip okay so so if i construct now if we will go move toward right uh, right we will get syncline and if we will move toward left we will get anticline now if i construct this part okay something like this okay so it is not like this okay 
so this is your actual plane okay this is your actual plane it means it is a symmetrical fold okay okay one limb is high angle and another limb is low angle okay but we are not getting any data here so i am not saying that okay i'm just constructing on the basis of that in then you will understand okay this is case third okay now up to this in this three in the direction of the dip in dip of the bed we are getting sink line okay if the cleavage is butting vertical if the cleavage is dipping with the uh, you know a cleavage is dipping with the uh, in the same direction but cleavage angle is more than the butting then the sink line is also in the same uh, in the direction of the Bedding and if both are dipping in an opposite direction, but still uh, we will get incline in the direction of the dip. Okay. Now, in other three cases, what we will interpret from that? Let us go in the the three cases. Okay. Now, in four, if bedding is vertical, suppose bedding is suppose this is our outcome and we get bedding like this. Okay, this is our bedding. Now, this is our bedding, and uh, uh, suppose cleavage is dipping toward this. Okay. Now, what we learned from this? Okay, the synclinal axis in the opposite direction of that in which the cleavage dip. If the cleavage is dipping toward our, you know, left, so then syncline is toward our right. Okay. Okay. So, if I construct this. All of this. It is something like this. It is also case of a symmetrical fold. Okay. This is our actual plane, and this is the cleavage. Okay. Okay. In this case, uh, if the bedding's events are vertical. And uh, cleavage is dipping with some angle, so opposite to the direction of the cleavage dip, we will get what's incline. Okay, we will get incline here and anticline here. Okay, to whatever right, we are getting anticline. Okay, this is the case four. Okay, so it means it is um, we are talking about the asymmetrical fold. Okay, in which one limb is now, you know. Uh, Slowly, slowly, it's converting into a recumbent fold. Okay, from normal fold to uh, asymmetrical fold to recumbent fold. Okay, over turn to recumbent fold. Okay, now, now if we talk about our case four, case four is done. Case five, if cleavage dip is more gentle, gently than the bedding okay the beddings are overturned will construct okay expose this is our bedding now okay and this is our cleavage This scenario is matching with our, you know, case two, but it is different from case two because in that case, bedding is, uh, you know, bedding having less angle than the cleavage. But in this case, bedding having more angle than the cleavage. Dip, okay. 
so how we will interpreting we will go right and we will go left what we will interpret okay that that case is also important okay fifth and third is very important okay so the synclinal axis is in the opposite direction okay opposite direction in which the beds and cleavage dip if both are dipping in this direction so it means we are getting syncline this side okay we are getting syncline this side and decline this side okay this is very important case okay put star over it and it, uh, question came already from this setup okay so if i construct syncline and integral from this outcrop how something like this okay this is a case of over trend fold okay this is our exit plan okay we are standing here and if we will move toward our right or sorry left we will get anticline core and if we will move toward our left we will get syncline okay this case five and third is very important okay remember this okay now in case in case 6 okay if cleavage is horizontal okay, I will add one more thing if cleavage is vertical also okay we will already discuss this okay If cleavage is horizontal, it follows that actual planes are horizontal. Okay, this is the case. Okay, suppose two things they are mentioning actual plane and cleavage, both are horizontal. Okay. In which case it is going to happen? It is happen only when beds are also horizontal. Okay, and it is a case of recumbent fold. So in this case, we are unable to tell either this side, or right side, or left side will get anticline or syncline. Okay, because in a recumbent fold, it is very difficult to tell. Okay, because at the limb, uh, suppose this is a recumbent fold. Okay. This is actual pain. The cleavage is either like this now, it is parallel to it's parallel to the padding, so it is difficult to tell. Okay, okay, very difficult to tell the relationship okay, from cleavage and padding. Okay, from which side we are going. Okay, so in, in this type of cases, we have a uh, care should be taken while doing mapping. Okay. This one more case if the, uh, the same case this is recumbent and if it is an isoclinal fold okay suppose this is an isoclinal fold okay the plane is this and cleavage plane are also parallel with the batting so in this case also we are unable to predict oh, not predict in which side we have to go either right side is uh, we are getting anticline or left side we are getting anticline this is Difficult to tell, okay. This is the all three six cases, okay, that I'm going to talk with you, okay. Now, now, Suppose this is our wedding, which is now folding. Okay, I will club all the all the six cases into one. Okay, and this is our 
एक्शुअल पेन ओके Okay. Now, if I can step my cleavage over here, roughly okay. I'm roughly drawing now. No. Now case one. If cleavage is vertical and wets are gentle dipping in the direction of the dip of the bed, we will get our syncline. Okay. and this is another case if bedding and cleavage bow dipping in the same direction but uh, cleavage is bedding is less deep and cleavage more deep so in that case in the direction of the uh, dip of the bed we are getting our syncline this is our case third see our case second okay in case third if bedding and cleavage both dip in opposite direction, okay, opposite direction. So in that case, in the direction of the dip of the bed, we are getting syncline, okay. Here we are getting syncline, 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 okay. Now, if now if beds and uh, we both are dipping in same direction both are dipping in same direction okay so in the uh, you know in the uh, if bats and clear both are dipping in same direction okay in the opposite side in the opposite side of the dip we are getting syncline Okay, this is okay. This is our case fourth, okay. Sorry, fifth. In fourth, batting is vertical, okay, and uh, cleavage is like this so opposite to the direction of the dip of the clay we are getting same line okay okay and in the sixth case this is our sixth case from that we are unable to tell either which side we are getting same line hope you will you know learn something from this video okay and try to share this video with your friends okay and try to use these things in the field so that while you know while doing field work you are able to understand the area in a much in a much good way okay thank you